Welcome back into After the Whistle. Tristan Thomas here chatting with Ian Shields, coming off your first win as a head coach at Minot State. I mean, um, obviously an exciting game back and forth. I'm sure it just felt, felt good to win one. It felt great. It was an emotional game, obviously, an exciting game, uh, a, a lot of hard work that came to fruition for our, the young men in our program, the coaches, all of our, all of our supporters, uh, the community. Uh, it's, good, it's great to get the first victory. It's just one It's one win, but it was one big win, and uh, we, we certainly enjoyed it. Yeah, for sure. And I saw the, the video of the celebration afterwards. I mean, what was it like, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, celebrating with those guys and seeing them, you know, kind of uh, see their hard work pay off? Yeah, it was great. It was a celebration of a lot of hard work. You know, the accumulation of a lot of hard work. So uh, we got a great culture. we got great young men in our program. We're playing with tremendous effort. We're, we're not, you know, we're not where we want to be, but we're on the way. And it, it's tangible, and you can see it. Obviously, when you win, it validates a lot of the lessons, a lot of the, you know, all the techniques, the fundamentals, the styles. Um, winning helps everything. It's the great marinara, we said. It covers up it covers up just about everything. How does a win like that kind of carry over into the, the following practices have you have you seen you know maybe a, a pep in the step from your guys heck yeah i mean it's uh you know we tell our guys you wake up sunday morning after victory and the food tastes better and the sun shines brighter i mean it's still shining you know so the, you know, it's uh everything's a little better when you're winning and uh you know it's hard to win a college football game at this level and in this conference is really difficult and uh like i said we got a ways to go to where we want to be or where we're going to be um but it sure felt good uh, you know saturday after four quarters of a hard five game against a good Concordia team uh, to come away and pull away with a victory. And looking ahead at the rest of the season, you know, what are you hoping to see from your guys um, in, in trying to continue to make, make progress with this program? Yeah, just keep the arrow pointed up. Keep working hard. Keep believing. Stay together. Trust each other. Trust the coaches. Um, bond our team. Just you know, keep getting better. Our coaches got to keep working hard. We got to keep recruiting. We got to add pieces of this puzzle. It's ongoing. We're, uh, I talked to our guys, like, we just got to water the bamboo. Bamboo doesn't shoot up overnight. You got to water really for a year, two years, three years, and all of a sudden, boom, 90 feet in 90 days, or, or maybe in a week. And uh, in our case, we saw some little bamboo shoots come up last Saturday. But like I said, we just got to keep doing it. It's a process. Getting where we want is a process. It's not It's not minute rice. It's not going to happen right away. Yeah, and, you know, we, we talked before the season, and, uh, you know, the, the big thing was the, the new offense. You know, how have you seen the guys kind of develop that, and how have you seen that um, kind of play out as the season goes along? Of course, a really unique style. With the, with the option and the and all the guys in the backfield. Yeah, no, it's it's uh they're really taking to it and uh, there's some great pieces in place, some young pieces. You see just like uh, Dondre Fair emerged last week at quarterback. You see Miles West as a true freshman have 125 yards as a true freshman. You see Aiden Aiden uh, Shoemate as left tackle as a true freshman. So you got some young guys that are on the job. We're it's not a it's not a work of art. It's not a polished gem just yet. But you know we ran for over 200 yards in the second half of that game last Saturday and controlled the ball. We had the ball offensively for 21 of the 30 minutes, maybe close to 22 of the 30 minutes of the second half and, and wore that defense out. Had a 60-yard drive to win at the game-winning drive in the fourth quarter. So that speaks to the belief our guys have, how hard they're playing. Obviously, we did a ton of great things defensively the whole for four quarters there. Uh, it was a whale of a game we played defensively last Saturday. So I think we gave it, I think we allowed 34 rushing yards to the best running back, one of the best running backs in the country. So a lot of good things happen. We're, we're playing a more physical style of play, I guess, bottom line, uh, offensively and defensively. Yeah, and, and looking at, at offense and being it being such a, a run-heavy scheme, and w when maybe it's not working right away, is it is it tough to keep the guys, uh, I, I guess, their you know, to, to stick with a system like that where if you're not running the ball well, um, how tough is it to kind of stick with it and, and just knowing uh, what it, that it'll eventually get there? Well, it will work if we execute. It will work because the math is on our side. It works. I mean, you look at Air Force, who's one of the best teams at the FBS level right now. They're undefeated. They're in the top 25. You know, they're throwing the ball about six times a game. All right, so we're throwing it about... 15 times a game right now, so we, we're the Air Express compared to those guys. But, you know, we just got to get better at what we do, and we're, we're going to throw the ball, and our quarterbacks can't throw the ball, but, it, you know, the passing game is more than just the quarterback. It's it's the offensive line, it's the backs, it's the receivers. It all works together, just like the run game does. So, uh, certainly there's room for improvement, but like I said, we've had opportunities. There are a couple drops, you know, we have, you know, a missed block. We have, you know, it's just things happen. Uh, we got to get better at playing together. 
Yeah, I know you still got the season left to go, the, the, the games to, to finish out, but in, in the, the coming months, you know, what does progress look like for this program and, and, and what are you looking towards uh, over the next you know, few months? Well, it's hard to even look past uh, today. Frankly, we've got to practice. We've got to get better out here today. <laughs> the bar is set high in the Northern South Conference, so for us, we got to get, we just got to continue to improve, get better in our systems of play. We've got to keep recruiting as coaches to add pieces to this puzzle, uh, to add, you know, talent acquisition to this roster. Um, our guys Got to, we got to train great in our strength and conditioning program. We got to get bigger, faster, stronger, and uh, we have some catching up to do that way with a with an upper echelon of this conference. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, coach. Appreciate the time, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it. Roll beast.